Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our kitchen. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing something a little different. Because we have built such a powerful device for Ben, and with his unique abilities, meaning his right and left head movements, scan and select on his computer, I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool to show people how easy it is to create an app uh, for someone who might have similar limitations? So today we're just going to make a quick video about how we do that. So let's think of a hypothetical situation. I have some experience working in the hospital. There's people that I've met that can still use their eyes and move their mouth. They and, are nonverbal. And they can't move their head very well. Right. Okay. Uh, but they're nonverbal and they have no way to communicate. I have seen that in the past working in a hospital. We'll build an app that recognizes the camera. Maybe you can see your eyes closing and your mouth opening. And maybe it has like some phrases that it can scan and select to. Kind of like Ben's software, but instead of using two buttons, those will be the input methods. So okay. opening the mouth can be an input method. Closing the eyes can be an input method. I think that'd be, yeah, we could give it a try. I think that'd be great if okay. we can make something like that. You can use any LLM that you choose. I'm using ChatGPT, but I'm just going to tell ChatGPT this idea, and we're going to see what kind of application uh, it can create for us. We want to create an app that uses our front-facing camera on our phone, built in HTML that uh, can recognize um, eyes closing and mouth opening for input methods. Um, and we want this to be an accessible device, an accessibility device for someone to say phrases. So let's, uh, let's get 12 unique phrases, maybe yes, no, and fill in the rest, uh, where the camera can recognize um, those two inputs. Um, so opening the mouth will scan through, will allow you to scan through the selections. When you close your mouth, it stops scanning. When you close your eyes, it selects that object or that button uh, with the phrase on it. And what it'll do is it'll text to speech that phrase. Can you build that for us? Absolutely. We can help you lay the groundwork. Uh, it's a really neat idea to use a front-facing camera for those accessibility inputs. So let me break it down a bit. Essentially, you're looking at a little web app that runs in HTML and JavaScript and uses the phone's camera to detect two kinds of facial movements, mouth opening and eye closing to navigate and select phrases. So for example, mouth opening might cycle through a list of predefined phrases on the screen. When you close your mouth, it stops in that phrase. And when you close your eyes, it selects that phrase and reads it out loud. Um, we can definitely come up with 12 phrases. You mentioned yes and no, that's a good start. We can add other ones like, I need help, I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, I'm okay. Basically any common things that would make life easier for the user. And yes, we can definitely sketch out how to build that. It would involve a little bit of computer vision, probably using something like TensorFlow.js for the face detection but it's absolutely doable and a really cool concept. So yeah, let's get started on that. Okay, let's wow. build it. So okay. yeah, so we'll build it. Uh, so ChatGPT has that information. We're gonna go in and we are gonna say, let's build. So that way I can see what it says. I'm recording the screen so you guys can see it. The reason we're showing you this is to show the power of these new tools to help people like Ben. And I wanna empower people in their lives who may not see a solution, or maybe they don't have a solution, maybe the technology wasn't there before, maybe there's a funding issue, maybe there's a time constraint issue, who knows, maybe it's a motivation issue on the user. The idea is that anyone can build these tools now, and you can iterate on them very quickly, especially if you're living with that person, and you can build them tools that they can utilize. Um, and you don't have to rely on proprietary software, you don't have to rely on companies to come in and you know edit or change the software. A lot of this stuff can be built in the palm of your hand. Yeah, we don't have any coding experience or anything like that, but it is so cool to see that AI can build tools like this. So I'm gonna copy all of this code and we're gonna go into our Code Studio, which is a free app you can download. And we're going to say new HTML file. We will call this, we'll just call it test. Paste our new one in and here we go. Camera's active. Open mouth to scan, close eyes to select. Okay, so. I'm, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. That is pretty cool. <laughs> see, how, see how quick we're able to build that? <laughs> isn't, wow. that isn't that crazy? That, Here, you try. Okay. No. No. So it's, it's anytime you open your mouth, it scans. 
When you close your mouth, it stops scanning. When you close your eyes, it selects the object. I'm tired. There you go. It selects the option that you're select that you're scanned to. That's pretty crazy. So just to show you, yeah, it's wild. So um, I'm in pain. Isn't that crazy? That took us like less than like five minutes. Five minutes to like put together. So there's an example of how powerful these tools can be. And this is something that I could see someone using in a hospital setting. I could see this being something I someone. Mean. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's still registering the camera. <laughs> right. But the idea is that anybody can make these tools very quickly and very easily. And I think that this power of AI should be utilized for this exact reason. We understand that there are other, there's other software out there that does something like this. But the fact I was able to build it faster than it would probably take me to Google search it and download it and install it. I, I built something extremely quickly. So I hope this, I hope you found this informative and I hope this helps you. I hope this kind of sparks something in you to mess around with this technology because it is so powerful. And uh, yeah, that's really all we want to do is, is give people some inspiration to be able to go out there and help someone. Yeah, this is amazing. And hopefully you take this video and help somebody else. And yeah, that's what we're all about is giving people the motivation, the inspiration to go out there and help somebody. So yeah, thanks for watching.